This is a quick overview of The Art of Up. Written by Tim Hauser, forward by Pete Docter. Being one of my favorite Pixar movies of all time, it was a great experience going through this art of book. Not only seeing some behind the scene photos and cool concept art, by reading some very interesting stories about some of what went behind the decisions the team made while making this movie. The dust jacket consists of a beautiful concept drawing of the main characters, but taking the jacket off reveals a cool surprise under it, an imprinted title of My Adventure Book, which if you've seen the movie you know was the book Carl and Ellie had where they planned their adventures. It's a cute little touch that adds character to the book and adds some physicality to it. The book itself is made out of three chapters, as well as an introduction and an epilogue, and a foreword by Pete Docter. I loved reading this foreword in which he discusses coming up with the idea for the movie and reveals the personal story that went behind coming up with that idea. The first chapter focuses on the characters, showing the progression in the design of each, model sheets, concept art, and a lot of short blurbs about the thinking behind the decisions they made, as well as a collection of storyboards for different scenes with each character. The second chapter focuses entirely on the house, which as they say is one of the main characters of the movie. They had many iterations and had done a ton of research for the design of the house, because they had to guarantee the integrity of the structure holds up from every angle and through any disaster the house will have to endure, as well as modeling each and every item in the house. The design had to feel small enough to fly around, but still possible for people to live in. It was a fascinating challenge to read about. The third chapter covers the environment of South America, where the main events take place. We see photos of the team venturing into the wild rainforest of Venezuela and read their stories and thought process as they designed the setting for the film. It was cool to learn that the rocks formation they've seen were actually too unrealistic that they had to tone down the design to make it more believable. This chapter also covers the design of Mansa's blimp and secret lair and how they aimed for that 1930s look. At the end of the book, the author makes an observation that I thought was really interesting about how Pixar films up to that point can be looked at as a progression of a single life, starting with sibling rivalry and attachment issues with Toy Story, socialization with The Bug's Life, all the way to maturing with Monsters Inc., separation and parenthood in Toy Story 2 and Finding Nemo, protecting your family with The Incredibles, rekindling your passions with Ratatouille, planning for the future generations with Wally, -E, and accepting death with Up. I thought it was a great observation, to which Bob Peterson, who co-directed and co-wrote the movie, replied that you write about what you know, and as we become older filmmakers, we examine different themes. I recommend reading the rest of that interview and much, much more in The Art of Up. The link to the book is in the description.